Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a, a blessed Saturday, a blessed day. Reading and waiting on the Lord's return. And like he said, we must occupy till he comes. Must do the work. Must do the... Uh, must endure to the end. But, uh, you know, as we continue to watch the signs grow, I've said it many times before, it's impossible not to see them. You know, even if you don't watch the news, like I said, I don't watch news every five minutes. And some people might, that's their choice. But you watch it and you see the things that are happening and you turn on a platform like this and you something is put in your face basically about what Jesus said in Matthew 24 when they asked him when will be the sign of your coming what what will what will be the signs of your return and Jesus talked about wars and rumors of wars you know pestilences disease famines earthquakes in diverse places not only earthquakes but all kinds of natural disasters in all different places at a more rapid pace at a more record pace you see the love of many grow cold. You see the disrespectful to parents. You will see the love of God being tur turned away from. They will be lovers of themselves, rather lovers of God. And we've all fallen short of the glory of God. But you're seeing these things continue to grow. You're seeing the one world money, one world government, one world religion start to fall into place very quickly. Who is the Antichrist? The only things we could go by is what the Bible tells us he will be like. He will be loved. He will be charismatic. And he will have all the answers to the world's problems. But only in the beginning. Only in the first few years of his reign. Then after three and a half years of his seven year reign there will be total destruction and annihilation that the world has never seen before. The see Antichrist is working for the devil. Now I'm going to show a few uh, news clips of the things that have happened around the world in the last few days. Like I said, there's so many to keep up with and we do our best. I do my best to keep up with the signs and be a watchman. Like I said, I've always done more than just doing the watchman thing. We all have to be watchmen if we're followers of Christ and teachers of the word. But these are some of the things that have happened. Now some may say, oh, these things have always happened. Everything has always been happening. But I've always said, not at the rate that it's happening now. And you don't even have to be a believer to see what's going on in the world. So many people that don't believe ask the question, what's going on with the world? I've never seen the world like this. And I tell them, the Bible gives you those answers. The truth will give you the answers. Let's watch some of the things that have happened. Like I said, some might think that a small, the minuscule, they've always happened, but you gotta keep your eyes on the times. New COVID-19 variant. It is the fastest growing strain of the virus in the U.S., already dominant in the Northeast, where it is estimated to cause about a third of new infections. And experts believe it will soon be everywhere. In a matter of weeks, it's expected to become the leading coronavirus variant around the world. JN1 has been dubbed a variant of interest by the World Health Organization because it's spreading so quickly. We well, kind of sense something different was brewing. Dr. Joseph Cabaza is a pulmonary and critical care physician at the Cleveland Clinic. He says the past couple of weeks he's seen more people being admitted into the ICU with lung issues related to COVID-19. They have not led to as many ventilators or kind of the, nothing like the volume we saw early on, uh, but it, it really, that has been the notable change. The CDC estimates COVID-19 cases caused by this variant, JN1, more than doubled in the U.S. between late November and mid-December, perhaps from holiday travel and waning immunity. JN1 has only one change to its spike protein compared with the variant it descended from. But that change seems to have been enough to make JN1 a fitter and faster virus. If you have diabetes or uh, obesity or heart failure, or especially if you're on medications that lower your immune system, um, you know, you're, you're 
in a higher risk category. To protect yourself and those around you, Dr. Cabaza says to first know your risk, whether you're vulnerable to severe disease. 120 people and injured hundreds more. Survivors were left outside in below freezing weather while rescuers dug through the wreckage. The 6.2 magnitude quake hit the Gansu region. That's a remote and mountainous part of northwest China. Elizabeth Palmer has more on the country's deadliest quake in more than a decade. Security footage from inside a Gansu restaurant shows everything was normal until the quake struck. At a minute to midnight, customers and staff ran for their lives. Throughout the night, rescue workers combed through the wreckage of collapsed buildings, pulling those they could reach to safety and handing out coats and blankets to survivors stranded in the bitter cold. Cell phone. Kim Jong-un firmly stated he would use nuclear weapons to retaliate against a nuclear attack coming from what he calls an enemy. Our Choi Soo-hyung has the latest. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has expressed his position that if North Korea faces a nuclear attack, it will retaliate with nuclear weapons. The North Korean Central News Agency reported on Thursday that Kim made the statement while encouraging the regime's intercontinental ballistic missile unit on Wednesday. This follows a Hwasong-18 ICBM launch drill on the 18th. Kim also said that the North dignity, sovereignty and national interest could be firmly guaranteed only through strong power. He said having the capability for preemptive attacks and a solid combat readiness is important to ensure genuine defense and steadfast peace. Kim Jong-un's sister Kim Yo-jong, who is also the vice department director of the Walker's Party Central Committee, also criticized the recent United Nations Security Council discussion on the North ICBM provocations. Now, as we see these things that have happened, the earthquake in China, you have Kim, Kim Jong-un, you know, he's a, you know, some people might take, not take him seriously, but he has nuclear capabilities. He's not all there. We're seeing this uh, new uh, disease form, and we know that wouldn't go away because they condition people for a warmer for the mark of the beast. Well, you will not be able to buy or sell without it. So when people had their, you know, their face covered, they were able to go into a store and buy or sell. And what, is, what does the mark of the beast actually say? You will not be able to buy or sell without the mark. Was that the mark of the beast? No. Well, like I said, it was a warm-up. It was a conditioning to what is to come. So these may be three little signs to some people, and they might say, well, these things have always been about, but we are in the end days. How long? Nobody knows. I continue to tell you on this channel, I will never set a date, never set a time, because only the Lord knows. Only God knows the, set, the day and the time. But we must look for the signs, and we should be eager to know that the Lord is close to returning. Keep praying, keep looking up. For your redemption is near. That is 2.13. Looking for that blessed hope of the glorious appearing of our great God and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Bible says he cometh with clouds. So look to the clouds. Every eye shall see him and every knee shall bow to the Almighty Jesus Christ. Thank you all for watching and listening. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Keep looking up. Jesus is real, and he's coming soon.